seen a lot of free rest side stops in our time but this one is probably the most unique that is Mount Fuji right there and it has coffee as well I got hot coffees are they hot yeah we're making our way through every single kind of vending machine thing I love it. <laughs> really? Anyway, we have a van. We have a van in Japan. In Japan. We have a van in Japan. <laughs> and, and yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what else rhymes? Oh, I don't know. That'll be our mission. We're going to come up with a little song. Classic. Anyway, an amazing van, not just any van. Can't wait to show you around. But I think we are about to do one of the best road trips that we have ever done. Well, I mean, we've started strong with already that view of Mount Fuji at yep. a free rest stop. It's going to be really hard not to compare Australia <laughs> to van life everywhere we go because we did it for so long in Australia. But yep. when you think of free rest stops in Australia, clean toilets definitely don't come to no. mind, which they have here. And heated. Heated oh, seats. Oh yeah, and vending <laughs> machines and the fancy Japanese toilet seats which we showed you all about last week. <laughs> and a view of Mount Fuji. That's going to be our first mission for today is we're going to find an a even better view, better view of yeah. Mount Fuji. Look at it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Guys! I think we got so lucky with the clouds. I reckon in a few hours we're not even going to be able to see the top of it. Do we look like real tourists? <laughs> I just remembered we're in Japan as well and I'm sort of shouting. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> One thing we found is everybody is so respectful here. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Sorry guys, I just got a bit excited. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're standing here. It's crazy, isn't it? I wish we had got food. How good would this be for a little picnic spot? Know, we didn't think about that, did we? It's like another one of those things that you just keep looking at yeah. and it doesn't make sense. It's like your eyes can't comprehend Yeah, it, it just feels like you're just looking at a painting or something, yeah. not real life. Can you see me? Yeah. You won't believe this. Can you see? Look out, here she comes The woman that I love We're sticking out. Maybe I should go park over there. We had hoped to get here early enough to beat the crowds, but judging by the car park, I don't think we were very successful at that. You always take us to the steps. <laughs> I thought we needed a little bit of morning exercise. I actually had no idea that there was this many steps. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of steps. They just keep going. Oh, it's beautiful. I haven't turned around yet. You actually haven't turned around <laughs> no. yet. Have a look. Wow. It's beautiful, hey? That was really unexpected exercise. <laughs> that is stunning, isn't it? Wow. So we've come up to the Chirito Pagoda. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but... <laughs> can keep going further up and there's this beautiful pagoda temple and still the view of Fuji in the background and there's more snow on this side as well yeah there is it's far out it never gets old that view guys come on what are you doing look at all these people down here <laughs> we've uh, found a little secret spot we? I've seen footage of this place in cherry blossom season there's actually cherry blossoms that bloom here with this view and I've seen footage of like hundreds of people right really? there yeah it gets nuts it's bad now so Not imagine bad. i mean <laughs> for me that's a crowd and that says do not enter but it says it <laughs> just just to uh Jack clarify yelled at me as i was walking through he's like the sign i'm like i think it means do not enter. Past the road. yeah it does yes it does i'm sorry all right now we're gonna go back down no way what does it say so we're using a translator app. It's not translating properly. It says no light pressure. What? Beware of bear? Note. I don't know. What's that? 
got you. <laughs> There's one thing that Jack always brings up when we spoke about visiting Japan and when we talk about visiting Canada. Jack is very scared of the apparent bears. I'm scared of everything. He even Let's said, be honest. Okay, so it's one of our dreams to do a van life trip in Canada. And Jack says, okay, but I'm not camping anywhere or hiking anywhere that there could be bears. And I was like, well, that's Which is everywhere. all around Canada. But okay. <laughs> Wild boars. We got to go. Fence. We got to leave. We got to go home. <laughs> and monkeys. That's another one you're afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Trip's over. We're going home. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is a tall car. It is. <laughs> How good is van life though? We missed it so much. We thought we'd be sick of it by now after, you know, three years of it. But every time we get into a van, especially a nice one like this, it's just so fun. But I feel also, like I'm in my element. yeah, and also because Japan, I gotta be honest, sort of overwhelmed me a little bit while we were planning what we were gonna do and see here because there's just so much. And I feel like it's a little bit easier with the van. So we're gonna try it and is, see yeah. as much as possible today. But first of all, we have to get some groceries because we've been living off just 7 Eleven food for a little bit too long, I think, just because it's cheap and easy. But oh, God. Uh, <laughs> These car parks are a disaster. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good, buddy. You not gonna let me go? I think so. <laughs> How am I gonna pull in here, Megan? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. You can park there. All right. Yep. That's gonna be. I'm gonna park right there. Yeah. Done. Okay. Uh, you're still scaring me with the way you drive this car. Uh, what I was gonna say was looking forward to actually cooking our own meals again. Yes. Also, shopping in places like this. Like, so cute. I like your trolley. We got excited. <laughs> we got a little bit excited. <laughs> we haven't had to play fridge Tetris in a while as well, so it's gonna be fun. Ah, that was actually really easy. <laughs> Does it all fit? Yeah. We got ourselves a little bit of lunch as well. All done? Yep. We eat so many of these at home. What are they called? Gyoza. We actually haven't had any in Japan yet though. Delicious. It was actually kind of difficult to, I mean, not just buy ingredients because of, you know, the language and that sort of thing, but to be motivated to actually cook your own food because there's so much pre-made food so that all looks so it. delicious and it's actually not too expensive in the grocery stores either. Fruit's very expensive though. Yeah. And then we also got a mochi. This is going to be our first mochi in Japan. Oh yeah, because usually we get the ones in Australia have ice cream inside them and I think traditionally they don't. What are you meant to do? Oh, They're like red beans, aren't they? Oh my god. Marissa, my sister, is going to be loving this right now. You like the ice cream better, don't you? Mm-mm. Really? Kimmy. It's good. It's kind of hard to get past like there's beans as a dessert though. There's definitely beans in there um, for sure. But yeah, once you don't think about like the fact that you might be eating burrito mix or something, then it's good. 10 out of 10. All right, where have we gone? A waterfall. So we're just casually making our way away from the grocery store and we turn onto the road. The road! The famous road. The one that's all over Instagram where you see like the Tory gates and then you see Mount Fuji in the background. That was so cool to see. Oh my gosh. Just one of those things where you just see online for like years and years and then all of a sudden you're just there. Alright guys, we've just driven up this road for how long you reckon? Like 15 minutes? Yeah. The steepest, narrowest road ever. It looks like it should be one way but it's got those mirrors so I think you can go both ways but there's like just a big wall on this side and then there's a cliff drop off on this side. And I can't turn around. And we can't turn around. Jack has to do like a 20 point turn to try and turn around right now. Or I have to reverse all the way back, but that's, that's I'm gonna try and turn around. Yeah. Um, but also there's bear signs everywhere. <laughs> Megan and these bloody bears. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try and turn around, eh? Yeah. All right, here we go, wish us luck. I think we're being a bit dramatic there, guys. It was easy. So we are uh, going for a walk find some bears. <laughs> I don't know how far the walk is because we've got no phone reception and I don't think our Translate app works no. without phone reception. We have just realized. The vibe here is very... Berry? Berry and woods. <laughs> I just found the waterfall. <laughs> oh, Look, it? this is it here. We were about to turn around and go back because... Oh, I see it. We were 
getting very freaky vibes here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty happy we walked about four more meters. Cool. First it's Japanese good, waterfall. What are your thoughts on the waterfall? <laughs> Seen better. <laughs> we would recommend coming to this waterfall, guys. Just wanted to let you know we are incredibly grateful for what we are seeing and doing. Just, how do you say? It's just hard not to rank stuff. <laughs> hard not to rank stuff. So, I wanted to go back a bit and just say we are incredibly grateful that we are even able to be here and see that. At the same time, it's down here on the list of waterfalls <laughs> <laughs> that we've seen. Anyway, off to find a camp, eh? Yeah. I think we've got a three hour drive, guys. Japan's bigger than you think it is. Yeah, it's huge. It's pretty big. Is that where you are right now? I told you you were nowhere near it. What? You put the wrong falls into Google Maps. Did I? Yeah. We're nowhere near it. No. Mm. Did you do it? No, no, no. Oh, well, it was still good. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm joking. <laughs> you even put the window up. <laughs> you put the window up. Gosh. Gotcha. You would not be stopping if there was actually a bear. I would definitely stop. No, you wouldn't. I'd be the car. How's bear going to get in the car? Well, you can add some party to Greece. Step in. Put your little shoes away. They're not. Hidey hole. They're not little, Megan. Wait. Yeah, sorry. You have very, very big feet. You want some slippers? No shoes in the van. No you have to put way. your slippers on. Staying Japanese, even in the van. We had planned to give you a proper tour this afternoon, but we're starving now, so we're just gonna get straight off to dinner, and hopefully we can catch the sunset because we've come to this beautiful little coastal town. It's so cute. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I can't help but laugh that Megan can stand up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, perfectly fine. Anyway, um, so, yeah, coastal yeah. town. Looks like, uh, what did you say it looks like? I don't know. America? Had, like, palm trees as we were coming in. We were like, ooh, are we in LA? It's cool. What are we cooking for dinner? We are feeling a bit nostalgic today. So, we're doing one from our cookbook and we're doing our eggplant curry. But we had to substitute a lot of ingredients because we couldn't find a lot of things like coconut milk and sweet potatoes and we didn't want to buy all the pantry staples so it's just very very basic but <laughs> hopefully it works yeah it and work. eggplants are cheaper here even though all the other fruits and vegetables are heaps more expensive eggplants were cheap so yep. that's why we're doing that and guys this van I'm not going to show you too much but it's got some pretty fancy wood here it is a photographer's dream because it has about 4,000 lights yeah all, all these switches a light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's actually a light as well. Eight. So it's uh it's pretty damn good, eh? Yeah. It's I think good. I think you need some help there, buddy. Yeah, you're the chef. Why am I getting this started? There's not much talking going on in the Jack and Megan household today. It's because we're hangry. Now. No, you're hangry. You're hangry. Don't Ooh. worry guys, we've got a window open, we've got a ventilation fan. We probably still shouldn't be doing this, but we're doing it. We're sorry. Currently we're doing something that you should definitely not do at but home. But then you've got flame near cardboard. No, the flame's on top, Megan. Yeah, but, but it's not a bit close. Hey, we've got van life friends pulling up next to us. Hello! Turn some lights on for the, oh, um, that's better. the old camera setting. This is the worst thing to do. Yeah. Don't, don't do this, guys. <laughs> uh oh! Oh! oh. oh. Anyway, let's have a little chat. We're gonna do a flash sale on our cookbook. For those of you who don't know, Megan and I came up with a cookbook with 51 recipes. We love it, and obviously we still use it whenever we get the chance. So yeah, yeah we'll do like a little flash sale on it. We should come up with like a code word right now. Like a um, sneaky little code word. I know word. exactly what it is. What? I know some of you before, I pointed out the barbecue on the floor. It's not a barbecue. Oh, the stove. It's a stove top. Cook top. Or a cook top. <laughs> And every time I say barbecue, we get like 50 comments. We get like 20 comments. Yeah, that was an over exaggeration. It's just a barbecue in our brains now <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. And so, so now it's always called a barbecue. So but, uh, we'll yeah. do barbecue 30 for 30% 30 off. BBQ30. Yeah, we'll do 30% off. Yeah. Done. Cool. Well, this is smelling delicious. Maybe we're getting gassed out. Maybe. <laughs> we're just high. We have a microwave. Yeah. Which we'll show you tomorrow. 
pretty cool. Cheers. Cheers, Grumpy. Mmm. 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 So they have alcoholic beverages, very cheap here. Yeah, we're not big drinkers. We as don't you drink much. Probably have seen if you follow the vlogs for a while. We literally never drink. But no. if we were to like go out with friends or something, that's what we would buy in Australia. Those like hard lemonade. One of them. There it is. Nine percent alcohol. Yeah, you can buy them just off the shelf for like a dollar fifty here, which crazy. is crazy to me. That is so strong. There's people looking at us. It looks like we're filming oh. a camera on a bed. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Did you just yawn as well? <laughs> Good morning everyone. I had a pretty good sleep last night. This camper van comes with traditional bamboo pillows. Which are a bit, a bit hard and questionable, but they kind of do the job. Anyway, time for some coffee and brekkie, eh? This is my spoon. <laughs> I got a fork. A fork. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> oh no. Oh my goodness. It's gone very wintry outside. I think it's raining. Really? I think so. Oh, hello. <laughs> 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 we've been we've been hanging out in here a little bit, just cooking up some possible future plans. Yeah. Not sure yet though. But yes, as promised, we'll give you a little tour around this amazing van. So the company that we hired it from actually build vans as well as hire them out. So they built it all themselves, and it's actually incredible what there's they a, managed to do in here. There's a wizard in there somewhere. <laughs> so as you saw last night, we have got a little pull out table here and some chairs and then there's also a little bit of storage under here with a diesel heater some more storage under here with the electrical mm -hmm. setup which is 500 amp hours <laughs> i always have to check with jack with these <laughs> it's 500 amp hours of li lithium battery i think with a 2000 watt inverter which is plenty of power and we are struggling to use the power yeah so we've got an air conditioner which jack actually had on for a little bit last night and still didn't use that much power we've got all of these lights and these ones are cool because they go off and blue <laughs> Obviously the first thing that we noticed about this other than the lighting was this beautiful wooden cladding and it turns out that this is a very rare type of Japanese wood specifically ordered in took a long time and also not just to order it in but obviously would have taken a lot of time to like put it up so oh well gosh. as well especially all these little details like that's crazy along with the attention to detail with these sort of lights and then we've got nice little touches over here as well you've seen the bed a little bit already but you haven't seen how easy it is to set up literally just pull this was that easy yeah i get so scared of breaking things yeah. but i have to be so careful and then you just pull that over chuck a couple of what are they called? Covers over and you're done. Get your bamboo pillows out. Yes, and we've got these little traditional Japanese bamboo pillows. Not great for us, we're face sleepers, so we would end up with like check marks all over our face. So luckily <laughs> we've got these ones as well. But I just thought that was so beautiful. It's just so Japanese. The bed is massive. Yeah, usually we fight over the bed all the time, but oh my gosh, I can't even like touch either side. It's actually huge. That's so good. And there's more lights up here too. <laughs> having trouble sitting up straight over here but we've got 240 volt power on this side and usb and usb c over on this side we were told that people are known to hire these camper vans for up to two months in japan so i could definitely see us living in here for two months especially with that amount of power and ease beside the bed okay over to the kitchen first of all storage more storage more storage a little bit of storage there's actually water tanks under there but it's 20 litres of fresh water and then also a grey water tank as well. So 
you don't drop any of your dirty water on the floor. But again, the details. This sink is so beautiful. We've even got lighting up here and again the details with the blinds here. Just the little things that just make it feel so luxurious. Even have a microwave. It's pretty cool. That's nuts. Under here we have got a fridge. I always do that. I always say fridge, like two syllables. It's fridge. Fridge. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, fridge. Perfect. And you might be wondering what all of this is. This whole area actually becomes a bed as well. Should we show them? Yeah, do a movie magic. Yeah, we'll oh. ready. Oh, okay. Oh, go. Oh, you, me. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you click your fingers. I'm just realizing we should have slept here. This is huge. It's massive. Oh my gosh. It also comes all here and everything. So We could even sleep separately. What's with you and wanting to sleep sleep separately? I just like to spread out. Jumps at every chance she can get to sleep separately. <laughs> I must be bloody annoying you at night. Stink. <laughs> <laughs> On the stinky situation. Oh yeah, we, we are doing the baby wipe showers. There's no shower in here. And you might have noticed there's a one thing that we always say has to be included in all of our setups is we always say we need a chemical toilet. I don't think they're a big thing in Japan. We've seen no dump points or anything like that. But as you've seen with the free rest side stops, there are clean toilets everywhere. Where all the 7-Elevens have toilets you can just use uh, publicly as well which is great so yes that is the van we love it if you're interested in checking it out for yourself or any of the other vans that this company we hired it from do because they're all awesome too we hired it through Samurai Campers and we'll have a link in our description for that as well for the website stuff <laughs> professional YouTuber <laughs> go check them out they're actually really really nice to deal with and yeah should we hit the road yeah You look funny. Everyone has umbrellas. <laughs> We're the mad ones without them. Where are we going? That way. That way. Yeah. So we're braving the rain to come to the Yogasaki or Jogasaki coastline because apparently there is a big suspension bridge that runs across the ocean here, which it's looks really cool. It's windy as well, so it should be should be good fun. I didn't think of that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh, so that's really scary. I don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> no. Really? Are you scared? A little bit. Just when it moves. You go straight back. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's raining too much. I love that. Don't look down. Imagine one of the wooden things broke right now. Don't do that. Shrek, I'm looking down. <laughs> wow, that is stunning. All right, you ready? Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know why I just got really excited. I think I'm really excited because I'm in the car and I'm not getting rained on. Yeah. And also, we're going to the zoo. There's a special animal there mm -hmm. that I have always wanted to see. And we're going to go see it. It's very unique. Hopefully. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is bigger <laughs> than I thought them. it was going to be. Guys, we came to see capybaras. And they're right there. That is not what it looks like in the photos. They're so cute. That is massive, Megan. Reminds me of a big guinea pig, and I had guinea pigs as a kid, that and I loved will them. Bite your hand off, mate. Oh, uh, can you yeah. feed them? Yeah, you can feed them. Can can we feed them? Uh, Do we yeah, have let's change? Go, let's go money? find some food. <laughs> it's such a unique animal. Capybara family snack. Oh, you have to wear little gloves. Oh, so they don't bite your hand. <laughs> off. <laughs> a little bit intimidating. Hello. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hungry little oh, he's boy. Giving, he want, he's asking for more. Hello. Hi, there's one here. Oh, hello. Oh, you're a little one. Their little teeth are so funny. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Hello. So cute. Hey, good boy. Hello. Oh gosh. <laughs> so was it worth it, Megan, the 200 yen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Megan, it's Australia. It's kangaroos and emus and all that. We're home. We're home. That was quick. I think we've interrupted something here. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> that's what Australians do. There are so many animals at this zoo, even ones that we didn't even know existed. We still need to find out 
what this animal is. We're going to run it over the top. Because oh, yeah. What is that? We it's, don't, a it's like an elephant, elephant crossed with a rat. Crossed with a, an ant eater, crossed with a donkey. Don't know. Really weird. So, got some Googling to do there. But we're freezing, so. That was a great success, though. Yeah, oh my gosh. Highlight of my life right now. We did not realize how far we'd actually driven this van away from its home and we have to return it tomorrow so we're making our way back we're thinking we're gonna drive as far as possible tonight but hopefully we can find somewhere more in nature to park up for the night because we haven't done that yet no but it's been i think why we haven't done that yet is because we're a bit afraid with the language barrier we're yeah. not sure what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. Yeah, we don't want to break any rules. Yes. And even in Australia, like the one time that we had camped at a place that wasn't technically a campsite, we woke up at like 4am in the morning because we were so scared of getting in trouble. So yeah, we're probably going to spend the next three hours or so driving. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Ah, waking up in nature. Not really. We're in a car park still. It has been a little bit more difficult than we expected to find those nature spots because I think a lot of them are paid campsites, which we're not sure how to book. I think you have to phone up to book a lot of them with, you know, the language barrier. We're a little bit intimidated to even try that. And then also they're paid and some of them are quite expensive. So hey, we're happy with our car park. Nothing wrong with a good free car park. <laughs> They've been great. Yeah. Do you want some breakfast? Yes, please. Oh, I mean, you're cooking it. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. It's raining. I think I'm going to eat everything with chopsticks from now on. We don't have any normal, well, normal for us cutlery. We've been forced <laughs> to eat with chopsticks. It just makes everything feel more dainty. Mm. Today's the day, Megan. We've got to bring the van back. I know. I'm so sad. And we never decided on a name again. Yeah, I did. Greg. Greg. I thought we would go for a Japanese oh. inspired name. <laughs> <laughs> Although there could be Japanese was, people named Greg. We don't know. I was packing the bed up today <laughs> and I was like, mm, this is a Greg, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I Bless you. He went away. You know the sneezes yeah. itself. <laughs> Time to go. It's raining so much. Return, Greg. Wow, oh, that's muddy, eh? <laughs> oh, I've got to go on the train like that. Alrighty, we've made it to Samurai Campus Headquarters, but there's no one here. We're hoping to get a lift to the train station because it's raining. What are we going to do, maybe? Maybe just wait like five minutes. Maybe we get to keep uh, keep the van. <laughs> you were going to call it Greg. I was going to call him Greg again. We got a ride. <laughs> oh, it opens by itself. Oh. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's so cool. Is that just in Japan? <laughs> Alright, we'll see you soon. Thank you. See ya. Oh my gosh, we have like three minutes to get on the train. <laughs> oh no, let's go. Wait, I've given Megan all the heavy bags. <laughs> what a great boyfriend. <laughs> Turns out we were in the wrong train station. <laughs> so we're going to another one. Is it good? Ooh. Have we nailed it? Yeah, kitchen. Oh, I love it. I love it already. <sighs> Shoes. Oh yes, of course. Home for the next few days, eh? Yeah, okay. 
Oh my gosh, we're Wait, dead. Do we like van life or do we like this kind of life? I am very excited to have a bed, I'll say that. What do you mean? We need a shower. Yeah, that's 